hi everyone let's provide a solution to this problem and um, I want us to deal with this in two ways let's look at the first method okay the first method we have x square root of x square root of x equals 3 now how do you want us to remove this square root okay we can remove the square root by squaring everything and then that means that we'll also square the 3 here now this x here will take this square root i mean we'll take this square so we have x squared then multiply by this will go with this now this x is going to be out so we'll write x then multiply by this root x right so everything is equal to 3 to the power of 2 now the next thing is how do we remove this but before removing this we can multiply these two first so if we multiply that it's going to be x to the power of pick one of the bases to get x then here there's an invisible power of 1 2 plus 1 is 3 then we have root x this is equal to 3 to the power of 2 now what do we do again to remove this so we're going to have x to the power of 3 root x this will be squared again because of this square root and on the other hand we are going to have 3 to the power of 2 then this again will be squared then x to the power of 3 squared what would that give us this means that we're having um okay let me write it here this means that we're having x to the power of 3 to the power of 2 and the law says we multiply the power so this is going to be x to the power of 6 right so here now we have x we have x to the power of 6 then this can now go with this so we multiply by x and on the other hand we have 3 to the power of 4 since we are to multiply the powers now what again do i do multiply these two using one of the laws of indices so we pick x then we have 6 plus 1 because this has an invisible power of 1 and if you're multiplying them it means that you should add the powers this will be equal to 3 to the power of 4 now let's continue because from here we can say that x to the power of 7 is 3 to the power of 4 so how do we let go of this power to remove this power you will have to multiply the power by it you know by the reciprocal of the power so we're going to have x to the power of 7 now we are going to multiply the power by 1 over 7 okay because 1 over 7 times 7 will remove it so we now have 3 to the power of 4 right this again will be raised to the power of 1 over 7 because if you introduce anything on the left it has to reflect on the right now this is going to take this out now our x is equal to 3 to the power of 4 times 1 over 7 remember we have to multiply the two powers so we now have 4 over 7 so this right here is the value of x according to the first method so let's go straight to the second method okay so solution again we want to use the second method okay so it will be left for you to see which one is easier we have x square root of x square root of x equals 3 now do you know that this can be written as x multiply by you know this is square root of x so this can better be written as x 
to the power of 1 over 2. Then multiply by here, this x is under 2 square root sign. So that means that we're having 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 as the power. Everything is equal to 3. Remember, we are using the second method. So now, we will um, simplify this first. So we have x times x to the power of 1 over 2 times x to the power of 1 over 4 equals 3. The next thing is to use one of the laws of indices that says if you multiply and the bases are the same, you pick one of them and add the powers. But if you look at this, there is no obvious or visible power. But we know that this has power of 1. So we write that. Then plus the power from here is 1 over 2. Write it. Then plus the power from here is 1 over 4. We are adding the 3 powers because we are multiplying the 3 of them. So now the whole of this is equal to 3. Now let's let me pick out the power. Let me pick out the power. Now we have 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Okay, to add this, the LCM is 4. Then 4 divided by 1 is 1 is 4, then times 1. That'll be 4. Plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1. That is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1. That'll be plus 1. So at the end of the day, we are having 7 over 4. So this 7 over 4 now is the power of x. So we're now going to write x to the power of 7 over 4 equals 3. Please do not forget what we got using the first method. Now the next target is how do we remove this? Like we did before, we multiplied the power by its reciprocal. So we'll do the same. 7 over 4 to the power of... The reciprocal of 7 over 4 is 4 over 7. Write 4 over 7. Then since we introduced the reciprocal, we have to introduce it on the right hand side. So we have 4 over 7 as well. Now 4 into 4 is 1. 7 into 7 is 1, so we're having 1 over 1, and that is 1. x to the power of 1 is the same thing as x. It's the same thing as x. And then we have 3 to the power of 4 over 7. If you go through, you know, if you can recall what we got using the first method, you discover that this is the same value that we got. Thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed, subscribe for more videos like this one.